Okay, X-Traders, and we are going to finish off the third section, which was the Think or Swim part of the series, by finishing off the scripts that are available from the X-Trades community on the Discord, and specifically these three scripts, which are part of our agenda. So let's jump over to Thinkorswim and let's look at those three scripts. Now, let's go ahead and copy that, right? So now we have this link in our clipboard. We come over here, paste that in there, hit preview, gives us the generic icon, and, and we come over here and we were using the Xtrades TS for ThinkScript, and this is the on your mark. So let's go ahead and just on your mark. Okay. And hit import there. Imported successfully. Now let's go over to let's actually see if we can read a description. I don't believe, yeah, there isn't one for either of the on your mark or the run for your life. Let's go and the chart is for Apple. Let's see if we can bring this in here. This was the previous one that we looked at, the SMA, the one that basically brought in all the SMAs together as one indicator, which is kind of neat. You don't have to do these, this uh, three-thing one. Uh, I actually, that's why I left it on, because I'm thinking of keeping it. Now, come over to Studies, X-Trades, on your mark. There it is. Okay, and it's got a little question mark on it, or next to it, so let's go ahead and take a peek in there. It just says on your mark. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw that on there, and it throws it down into the lower section. So it's going to come up somewhere down here uh, next to the, or underneath the RSI. So let's go ahead and apply that, and here we go. Okay, all right, so here is the indicator, and it looks to be, if we come over to the uh, gear icon on this particular study, right, come over here to edit, click on its gear icon, you can see all of its parameters. So it's got an ATR, it's base, uh, basing uh, its calculations or whatnot on ATR, which is the uh, the true range, right? Uh, and there is a reversal minimum, right, which is a threshold. And, and if you want to use alerts in this case for Thinkorswim to actually alert you to something, then you can go ahead and uh, select yes, okay? So this is basically one that you would keep on, and during the trading day, it would basically green light you whenever it you know it hits this mark, and it's above that zero line, and then you finish your trade whenever uh, you get out, uh, or whenever you get the finish uh, alert, right? So this is basically a way to simplify, right? So it's one of these indicators you can create for yourself, a way to simplify what uh, you would otherwise have to be switching back and forth between charts and looking at, this will actually alert you to whenever the the go signal is uh, get, uh, given to enter a trade. Uh, of course, it gives you this little ready signal in case you're maybe doing something else, looking at a, looking at a different ticker or whatnot. And it gives you the finish uh, signal as well. Because it's basically if you were just like on your marks, get set, Go, which is obviously um, the reason for the name. Let's switch over to the uh, on your mark short bias. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's been imported. Let's go ahead and replace it with what we had. We'll remove the on your mark and we will look for short. Oops, short. There we go. Okay, throw that down there in the lower section, hit apply, hit OK. All right, so now this is getting you ready for whenever a trade goes red, whenever it goes short, whenever you want it to go short, right? So what you do is you get ready, right? And on your mark, get set, right? And then go, and it goes short until it goes green again, and then you exit the trade. So it's the same idea, it's just for the opposite situation, of course. So we come over here and we go to the gear icon, setup. OK, 
Okay, we're going to open shared item, paste, preview, and give it a name. So Xtrades TS, and this is run. I'm just going to give it run your life. Okay, there we go. Uh, imported successfully. There it is. Now let's come over and edit the study. We're going to remove this one. And I bet you it's the only one that has the word life on it. Yep, thought so. Okay, throw that down there. Hmm, did, that, did that work? Oh, yeah. It, sorry, I threw it up here. Let's hit apply and see what that does. All right, so there is the run for your life. So you're getting the bubbles, which are basically telling you this is a point of reversal. This is a pivot, right? Uh, a pivot where there is uh, enough momentum for the reversal to be considered. You could use it, of course, in conjunction with other indicators. And look at how nicely this actually lines up. Uh, when the RSI you know, was signaling over so overbought, then this was signaling a reversal, it came back down, and again up here, you know, the RSI is signaling overbought, 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 and this is when it reverses. Okay, so let's move on to the last indicator, which is the heat map. Now, I'm going to copy this, right, and like I mentioned, down here, uh, when you edit the study, you double click on the name, then, you know, it, it should <clears throat> load onto the chart, and then you select thermo mode. So this is one of the options that uh, is obviously going to be selectable. And then in the bottom part of the window, because it's going to show up down there, then in the input box, you can change the input in the first box to 12 and the second one to 48, and then select the color range that you would like, right? Such as blue to red or whatever, whatever is going from oversold to overbought. If we come over here to studies. We've already imported this, if you recall. So I'm going to add it. And when you are adding studies that you have already imported, you go over here to user defined if you want to find them like almost immediately right this is one of the ways to add them and here is our heat map the other one is by going to the Erlenmeyer over here which actually pops up the entire window and then you can just you know search for it in here by just typing in heat right and you double click and it adds it one of the lower sections down here so you apply it and there it is so here is our heat map right and above it we have the RSI and the MACD now how to use the heat map. Okay. Well, it looks like a regular oscillator, so let's go over to our studies and dive into the little cure icon, and here we go. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to activate something called thermo mode, right? So you click on that, and it gives you this enhanced heat map, okay? And this is one of the, um, one of the features that a plot has, right? So it enables, and you have the description right here. So it enables you to basically uh, display values by using this sort of heat color coded gradient, right? So as you can clearly see, it's going to go from green to red, which is what, of course what we want. Now, if we go to the instructions, I believe it says here that we should punch in 12 and 48 for the second parameter, right? And then select the color that you know range that you'd be you'd like, such as blue to red. Uh, of course, we're going to keep red to green just for simplicity's sake. So 12 is the lower threshold, 48, right? Yes. And then we hit OK. Now, keep an eye on this lower rectangle because that's the one that is going to get modified. All right. Now, this is very similar to the heat map for the entire market visualization that I mentioned in a few videos back but basically uh, what it's doing is it's going to give us a you know, red shaded area whenever we have a period of downward momentum and a green shaded area whenever we have a period of upwards momentum right and that is basically the heat map for this particular stock you know during this particular day in this case because because this is a day daily time frame uh, over the past what maybe 12 months so that is one of the uh, very intuitive, easy to use 
scripts that we have available for all of our X-Trade members, of course, in the Elite Plus channel. So I hope you enjoyed this very short video uh, on how to use the heat map script, and of course that you enjoy the other scripts that we have prepared for you in this video series. So remember to subscribe, remember to click on the little bell for the notifications. You don't want to miss out on any Thinkorswim or ThinkScript or any other X-Trade future videos that will be coming your way. So don't forget to subscribe as a member as well and get your membership in the X-Trades community. Again, there are links in the description below to how you can subscribe today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.